resining these coasters that I made. They're acrylic pour post coasters. And I mixed the two part epoxy on them. And now I'm spreading it. You have to spread it where it's not too thin or too thick. If it's too thick, it'll just run all the way off and re waste your resin. If it's too thin, you'll have little places where it doesn't stick. So you have to get down in different angles so that you can examine them and make sure that they're uh, totally covered. Then I use the torch to pop the bubbles. And sometimes I go back and use the heat gun. Like right now, because this one's got a little place where it's not quite done. The heat gun will make the resin flow over the sides easier. Now, do these so you can see. I pour a big puddle in the middle. And then I spread it out with my popsicle stick, wooden popsicle stick. Sometimes I like to use my fingers, but then it makes my equipment sticky, like my torch and my uh, heat gun. So I try to just use this uh, stick. pour a couple at a time, sometimes just one, so I can pay attention to each one. Like I said, you make sure there's a generous amount, but not too much. You'll waste it. bubbles out. Stop for a second because I see a place over here where there's not enough resin. have to dry just overnight and then there's resin on the back side of these tiles that you can take off by heating it and then scraping it off with a, a knife or one of these. These are really handy. checking your other tiles to see if there's a place that's that you missed because at different angles that you're looking at it you can see if there's an empty place and you don't want to wait until your resin start to set too much because then it'll leave a lump and you'll have to do the whole thing over. This is 
a creme brulee torch. I might have been, I might be out. Nope. I love creme brulee. I've made creme brulee lots of times. I have a niece that taught me how to make creme brulee the real French way, and it's delicious, but it's also very high in calories. Now I'm going to just set this one. And this is a, a alcohol ink one that I resined yesterday and on the back you can see there are a few drips right in here and so I just heat it I'll heat it up a little bit later with my heat gun and then I will just scrape it off like this and then I will put um, a cork mat on the back thank you for watching